Pinsan. Huta. Huta. In to today's video, we are going to be looking at self-publishing titans, colouring book maker. Hello, my name is Ben McQueenie, and if you haven't been to this channel before, I make videos on how you can make a great passive income selling low content and no content books on Amazon KDP. And if that sounds like you like the sound of that, then I would subscribe to my channel, leave me a like and hit that notification bell. So we all love colouring books and colouring books sell very well on Amazon. The problem with that though is that colouring books are not the easiest to make. Now, if you're a designer with loads of skills, skills in that sort of thing, then it's dead easy for you. But I don't have those skills. I don't have those design skills. But I have found a tool which can potentially make it easy for even the people like me who are not very good at doing colouring books. So we are going to have a look at self-publishing titans colouring bookmaker. And let's go and do that now. Right, so I am on the self-publishing titans website and I've clicked on tools and I've gone to this colouring book maker section, which is here. The colouring book maker, your KDP journey from dream to reality. Dream to reality. This colouring book maker tool has 9,350 plus colouring elements. So that would mean then, if you combine them in any which way, it's going to be so many that every single time that you create a colouring book page, it's going to be completely original. Bravo. Bravo. That's actually quite a lot of colouring elements, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, there's 127 categories and they're 100% hand drawn. Okay. So you're going to have no issues with copyright or anything like this because this tool is made for creating colouring book pages that you can then publish on Amazon KDP. Okay. So you're not going to have any problems that you would have like on Canva or of, you know, other programs like that. Okay. Now let's have a look at the colouring element categories. Let's just expand that. Whoa, look at this. There's so many. Um, animals, landscapes, people, nature, home, sea world, sweet treats, creepy kawaii, mm, dragons, magic wizard. I'm a magic wizard. Yeah. Animal words. Animal words, motivational words, alphabet, Christmas, cats, dogs, Halloween. The thing goes on and on. What we need to do is open it and let's start playing, shall we? So here I am on the colouring bookmaker. <laughs> Self-publishing titans. And if you look down here at this column, you can see some little uh, tabs. And on these tabs, you can do different things. And what we can do is if we click on categories here, we can see all of those categories that were mentioned in the uh, website. So let's just go down here. Now what we can do is we're going to make a few colouring book pages. Now what we can do is let's just um, let's start with my favourite. Let's do some dragons. Okay. But before we go into the dragons, we probably need some sort of background, don't we? So let's just uh, do uh, let's go. Let's go nature. This is going to be nature. Oh, look at this trees. Let's get some trees on the go. So click on the trees. And let's pick a few trees to go with our dragon, which we're going to put in. So I'm going to go with tropical dragons. <laughs> this dragon is going to be a tropical as it's going to be the most tropical dragon you've ever seen in your life. Okay, so let's just put that there about there. Right, so we've got a tropical dragon. Let's see if we can get uh, some sort of sunshine on the go or some sort of clouds. Uh, let's go back to categories. Uh, clouds. Backgrounds. It's sky we need. That's what we need, sky. Let's just close that. Uh, there it is, sky. sky so we need sun and clouds whoa sunshine it's got sunshine on the go right let's make that sunshine perfect let's get that there so we've got sun so we've got sunshine <laughs> see this is the reason why i don't design my own um 
my own colouring books because my um, obviously my originality isn't there. My originality isn't there. So we've got a sun and we've got a tree. Let's get some clouds on the go, just for the sake of it, shall we? Let's get some clouds on the go. Let's move these clouds here, I think. Nice. Now, let's get this dragon on the go. Let's move this dragon. And what sort of dragon would be in this scene? Hmm. Hmm. What could it be? Whoa, that, whoa, look at this one. Let's get this one on the go. Now he's flying. He's happy. He's mystical. Whoa, he's, he's flying him, isn't he? Now, for me, we need something down here, don't we, really? We need something down here. Perhaps maybe another... Another one of those, so I'm just copying that. So I can do two of those. If I just bring that back a little bit, that looks like it's further back then, doesn't it? Maybe put it here, like that. And then let's copy it again. And this time we're going to just do this so it appears slightly different. Now that there is one seriously, and I'm talking seriously, tropical, <laughs> tropical dragon kids coloring book. Now look at that. Look how easy that is. Right, so let's go for the second page, which we're going to do. What am I going to do for the second page? Who knows? Let's do you, uh, what's this? Creepy kawaii. Let's have a look at this. Whoa! So there is some, right, so stra stars, that's something that we need straight away. Let's get some stars on the go, right? So see that, how that just fills the page? So let's just make that kind of, tell you what, bring that down like this. And then what we'll do is we'll just copy that. And we'll put some more. I know what we'll do. Let's get rid of that. Copy and paste. And then we'll just bring that down to here. About there. Just so that we've filled the whole page. Okay. Now let's get a little character on the go. Let's get a little character on the go. Oh, bats. Let's put some bats in. Let's put these little cute little bats here. Aww. Make them smaller. Whoa! This, this is really fun, by the way. This is probably the most fun I've had at making a colouring book ever. Ever! So let's just... Um, Oh, what is that thing? <laughs> what, is, what is that thing? Oh my goodness. What is that thing? Now, whoever's drawn that, whichever illustrator drew that, needs a, a reward. It needs a re he needs a reward or she needs a reward. That is absolutely class. Class. Okay, so that's the second page. Look at that. Easy as that. So let's move it across and let's do another one. Let's do another one. Uh, creepy kawaii. So we've done that. Jibby. Let's have a look at Jibby. Whoa! So we can do kind of like a, another cute sort of situation here. Let's just do a massive frog. Let's do a massive frog creature. Oh, now that's cute, isn't it? Isn't that cute? See, and we could just, you know, maybe use that as is. Why not? Let's do it. Why not? So let's try and do another creation. And let's now go down the flowers route. See what flowers there is here. Right, so we could kind of... Well, that's a nice, that's a nice flower sec selection. Oh, there we go. And bring that into the middle, like that. And then what you could do is you could uh, get 
this, make that smaller. It's like a different sort of style of flowers, isn't it? But what you could do is you could bring that to the front. Yeah. And then we could get, um, let's just get some more, that look a bit more complex, this one. And let's put that in kind of there. And let's move that to the front. See what I'm doing here? I'm trying to like layer, layer it up a little bit. Put this one in. Maybe put that maybe there. Let's make that at the front again. Bring to the front. And last but not least, let's put a few of these in. This is another. Now, look how easy this is. It's just a little bit silly. Now, when you make kind of low content books and things like that, you know, when you get the hang of it and you start making your uh, notebooks or journals or logbooks and stuff like that, you get into the swing of things, don't you? And you can kind of, you know how to make them relatively straightforward and stuff. Now, um, colouring books have always been a little bit of a dark art to make, for actually to actually make them. Um, whereas this program seems to just be making it really easy to do. <laughs> as easy as doing a sketchbook or as easy as doing a log book or something like that. Because all I'm doing here is I'm just going through all these categories. It's literally crazy. It's crazy. So let's do one more. Let's do one more. Um, and let's see if we can find something really Good, so let's go down on nature. Oh, well, we've already looked at nature, haven't we? A little bit. Uh, already looked at that. Let's look at space unicorns. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do space unicorns. So let's us do our oh, rocket. There's always going to be right stars we need. So the stars will go in. There they are. Rocket. Where does the rocket go? The rocket's going to go there. Oh, it needs to go at the side. Hang on. If I put that there, make it big, then the rocket is covered. Yeah. And then we need, where's the unicorn? Because we could fit a unicorn in that space, couldn't we? So let's just... Space unicorns. There's another niche there. Just flying niches left, right and centre, but we need one that's looking like it's flying really, don't we? Near like a flying unicorn. That's more of a real one. Let's see if there's one flying. Whoa, this one's got a strawberry! Strawberry unicorn. Let me just go down here. <laughs> this is... There we go. Now that is a unicorn dragon situation. Oh look at that, that fits in perfectly there. See that? Nice. Let's make that a bit smaller so it doesn't touch that star. I'll put that there. I've gone off this rocket. Let's get rid of this rocket. Let's get rid of this rocket and let's put another unicorn in. Because you can't fall off with unicorns, can you? You can't fall off. Let's put that there. And if we just that, that looks like it's going to skewer that one, doesn't it? A little bit. Maybe if it, maybe if it, if it kind of points down, then it doesn't look like it's threatening. You didn't think there was going to be threatening unicorns in this video today, did you? <laughs> well, there it is. There it is. I reckon if I put that there, that would look class. Look at that. Look at that. Right, so I've made five pages there. Dead easy. Dead easy. So you could make, you know, a colouring book, 60 colouring book pages, relatively straightforward. I'd probably be reckoning in about half an hour, you know, if you just kind of went through it. Um, 
used these elements which are you can use they're all absolutely fine in any combination how you want um, and you're always going to get uh, an original image because there's just so many things to pick to choose now the other thing that you could do is if you uh, got this you could also upload you know creative elements from elsewhere like you could be getting them off creative fabric or something like that and you could make your coloring book pages with those as well so the um the amount of versatility on this is quite large i've also noticed here you can actually request new coloring book elements so they might um, do that if you request a new coloring book element so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to download these and then we're going to have a look at them in a little bit more detail <laughs> and there we go so look at that that is the dragon, the tropical dragon. Tropical dragon. And then we've got this thing, which I'm still not quite sure what it is, to be fair. But it's cute, but it does have that strange third eye. And it does look like it's come from um, hell. Anyway, so go down here. Look at the quality of this. The quality is just amazing. Look, there we go. And... Look at that, there's my floral colouring page there. And lastly, the unicorns. Now, those pages can be transferred into um, Canva uh, to create the colouring book, or you could just create the colouring book um, on this programme itself. It's entirely up to you, okay? So if we just pop back over to the um, self-publishing titans website, and we will have a look at the cost of this thing, so the cost of this thing is basically um, to buy it, um, you're looking at $149. But if you think about it, if you're going to make yourself 10 colouring book pages, 10 colouring books, if you're going to make yourself 10 colouring books, that's only going to cost you $15 a book, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Now, if you decided to pay for this colouring book maker monthly, yeah, and you made 10 coloring books in one month. That's only going to cost you $1.20. Yeah. Um, so you've got the option of getting it monthly or getting it uh, for life. Okay. Um, I got it for life. I got it for life. So go and have a go at that because it's absolutely fantastic. Now, personally, I'm going to be producing loads of these now because it's so easy. So I would really recommend you go to take a look at that because it is class. If you want to have a look at that, have a look at the uh, link in the description below and that will take you through to this. Okay, now I hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure you go and leave it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, press the button. Press the button. Do it. <laughs> Make your dreams come true. Do it. If you haven't already enrolled in my course, How to Publish Profitable Law Content Books on Amazon KDP in 2024, then why don't you check that link out as well below because that's really good. It's got 4.9 stars on Udemy and it's got over 500 people enrolled already. Yeah, and it's a bestseller. So go and check that out as well. Now, if you have a look at this next video, I hope that you will like that too. And until next time, bow.